Hi, welcome to Food All You Never Wanted to Know. Today, we are in the upper garden and I was trying to find, find out where a groundhog was getting in that chewed down some things, which I wasn't very happy about. <laughs> anyway, I decided to check the garlic and it's a good thing I did because I think this is just perfectly right. This is July 11th, zone 6B, and I have this really great shovel. And the way you do it, you dig straight down and tip the shovel a little as you pull it up. And there's a garlic. This is German white, which is a wonderful big kind of garlic. I'm going to throw that over there and get another one. Some are bigger than others. If you'll notice, some of the stems are smaller, some are a little bit thicker. They're, the thicker ones are from the cloves that were bigger. And those are the ones that you should save for seed. And there's a the garlic. Now, if you see the bottom leaf or two or three is starting to die down. So this is the point where you need to start checking your garlic. You want to be sure that you don't leave it in there too long or the cloves will begin to separate and they will not keep. Now this is a good a good variety of garlic, this German white. It should last pretty well for three to six months. I planted it last October, the middle of October, maybe it was the end of October. <laughs> I was pretty late doing things last year and it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And if you look over here, here are the ones that I've already dug. Some of them are huge, absolutely huge. Look at that. Now to store the garlic, what you want to do is keep it in a cool, dry place. You don't want to put it in plastic bags. Uh, you can put it in, in um, a box, something airy. You can put it in net, netting, netting or some kind of bags that are loose. Um, if, if you have bags that used to have onions in them from the store, you could use those. And if you want to store them more long term, then you can dehydrate them. That works really well, in which case you'll have to open them up and get them out of, out of you know, peel them get them all ready. You can cut them up, chop them, slice them, have whole cloves, whatever you want to do, you can freeze them. Or you could, um, you could cook them into something and freeze that. You could also um, dehydrate. Now, these something? are not a variety you can braid. No. I think this is called hard neck garlic. Uh, because it's stiff. It's very stiff. You couldn't braid these. It would just, it just wouldn't work. <laughs> so anyway, but um, they are just wonderful, wonderful garlics. I've really never had a lot of success growing garlic, and this makes me really excited to keep doing it. I'm hopefully, I will be able to save some of the heads from the biggest garlic and replant next um this next October, but um, you can dehydrate them and then grind them up in a blender and you can make your own garlic powder. So less buying things at the store. So please remember to take advantage of whatever you're able to do in your own garden. And if you'd like to see more of these videos, please subscribe and like if you can, if you like it and share with somebody else. So thank you very much for watching. Take care.